Now we have something interesting in here. What you are seeing is the account and way build of Hanako, who is a dear friend of mine and a member from the Sayonara Guild. Now, as you probably saw from the amount of time out of battle he has and maybe the amount of orange crystals he has, he has spent quite a lot of money on this game. So this is definitely what you would call a pay to win account. He's only using time out of battle 24 seven, nothing else. And this allows him to have tremendous amount of gold, which allows him to level his units much higher than you normally would. I will show you all of his levels and items and also a comparison between his gold and mine gold. So you can get a proper grasp of how much gold he actually have on this build. Now this is a Town Archer build, so it uses Town Archer as the main damage dealer alongside with Succubus, Zeus and Dark Lightning Archer. And you can see the waves are running extremely smoothly and that's because he's running Time Out of Battle again 24-7. He has a lot of gold and also he has very, very good items for this build. I'll also show you all of those in a moment. Otherwise, it has the basic elements of a gold build. It has Alchemist, Miller Band Male and Oak Band as gold heroes with gold castle and trophy as well. And also military band F is in here because her ability can be used when you are using time out of battle. You can use her ability automatically to skip more waves. So he can get more waves in by doing this. And then Dark Skeleton is here to boost Town Archer's damage and Dark Assassin is used as a support hero and so is Dorothy as well. And he uses Zero as a leader not to do damage but to boost his other damage dealer's damage because Zero gives a passive 10% more damage to all slowed monsters so that helps him his damage dealers to deal more damage and deal with the monsters more quickly. Now let's take a look at the battle results and as you can see the main four damage dealers are doing all of the damage and the rest of the units are just there to boost them to give support for them. And the order varies a little bit wave by wave but those are the main four damage dealers and he's also getting very juicy amount of gold. Remember this is all profit for him from every wave because he's using time out of battle 24-7. He is using 27 CDEs for this build and from the dressers we can see they are the basic gold build dressers with the highest level devil horn and curse knife is used to boost down archer's damage. And this is what his skill tree looks like. He's basically using the lightning tree and the poison tree as bases for damage and also the upper right corner for town archers as well. Personally, I'm not sure if he should even start from the poison tree instead of lightning tree to boost succubus even further. But hey, his build is running extremely nice and smoothly, so it works. And now before I show you all of his items and other things such as plus 7 wave skip for example, I want you to take a look at this. This is what he currently has invested in this build. 5123 trillion gold on this build. And that is insane amount of gold. If you compare it to my account, which is not that far behind from his, I have 1819 trillion gold on my main account, total invested in my build. This means he has three times the amount of gold that I have in my build. So that just shows how powerful it is if you can use time out of battle 24 7. The amount of gold you get is completely mental. And here are all the items on this account and I must say they are very very nice. For example on Pure Wizard DCD IG on both items and I must say I'm more than a little jealous of these items. I would absolutely love to get my hands on, on that staff for example and that extra is also better than what I have. And also all across the board he has very nice items for this build and in, in general on this account he has a lot of great great items and he barely does any bone dragon farming for example at all or dungeons farming and what he does is mainly he just buys a lot of boxes with real money and then opens them up in bulks whenever he needs to find uh, new items or new runes for his builds and he has done thousands upon thousands of boxes on this account to get all of these items so that he doesn't have to spend the time to actually farm the dragons like normally you would have to do if you don't want to spend a lot of real life money in this game. So the items and runes in general are very, very nice. And if you get to choose which single item from this build would you like to get for yourself, if that was possible, which one of these items on this build would you like to get? Comment me down below and tell me which kind of an item would you like to get. Personally, I would pick that DCD IQ staff on Pure Wizard because I don't have one and having one of those would be a tremendous boost for my own waving build and all my builds in general so i would absolutely love to get my hands on them that would be my big but what is yours let me know as we finish watching all of these items i will still show you a plus seven wave skip and also uh, some infinite colony runs as well his current infinite colony build which he is running on this account and it uses town archers or town cannons as damage as well 
But let's begin with this plus 7 skip and how this is achieved is by using the highest level of Devil Horn on time out of battle and having the Orc Band and the Military Band F in your build. Because th those both of those heroes have a wave skip plus 1 ability and if you're using time out of battle you can automatically cast those abilities. So every now and then they both happen to be cast at the same wave so that results in plus 2. So 5 plus 2 is plus 7 with quick math so that's how you do a plus seven wave skip and you can see the results of plus seven skip in here they are of similar structure as what we went through before with the plus five and plus six skips of this build and now as a final treat he's infinite colony build this has around 5x ratio for for this infinite colony and because he's using time out of battle 24 7 he doesn't really need to even think about doing infinite colony so this is basically just for fun but you can see the battles are going down extremely fast at this level and he's not even using smith or stoss to heal at this point it's so only healing is done by dark elf you can see also the hp bar is going back and forth like like crazy over here but the battles are super fast everything is basically melting and using time town cannons in your build if you are using down archers is very beneficial for the infinite colony as you can see in the results as well the cannons and succubus are doing most of the damage over here for this infinite colony build so again, I want to thank Hanako for letting us see this stuff. Uh, this is something you don't really see every day. This is extremely interesting to go through, so thank you. And Hanako said that if you want to appreciate him showing this to you, like this video and share it to your friends as well. See you in the next one.